Welcome back guys. Today we're going to talk about the electrical portion of our fuel management systems, specifically how to connect a contactor relay to our Wonder Box. So don't go away. our Wonder Box so that the system itself has complete control over your pump powering on and off. So with each of our fuel management systems you'll receive one of these little guys and if you open it up you'll notice that it is our contactor relay. So now I'm going to show you how to hook it up. So here we're featuring a complete finished system with the contactor relay in place. So what I've done here is I simplified the process by showing you the individual wires. These sets of wires, top and bottom, are the ones being rerouted from the pump. Black is going to be your hot, and white will be your neutral. So if you have an existing pump, let's say over to my right, you're going to disconnect power and reconnect either through the top or the bottom using your hot and your neutral as shown. These two smaller wires shown here are actually going to come out of the Wonderbox motherboard to power the actual contactor relay itself. A couple things to remember is one, the Wonderbox motherboard will require its own 110 volt dedicated circuit. Number two, the second circuit used to power the pump has now been rerouted through the contactor relay. So in summary, when the driver and vehicle pin code is entered into the Wonderbox, it's going to energize the contactor relay, open the circuit, and allow power to flow through the pump, thus turning it on. Thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful, I'll catch you at the next video.